Hey, Scott Lair, Scott Lair, 1961 on Twitter, Scott Lair, 1961 on Instagram, thecruisegenius.com. Okay, Riviera Maya. One of the big questions I'm asked all the time is, what about the kids club? What's going on? Now, because of COVID, there's been changes, and so each resort is different. So just check with the resort, but I believe this mini club is open. So Monday, they have Far West Day, Tuesday, Eco Day, Wednesday, Clown Day, Thursday, Retro Day, Friday, Pirates Day, Saturday, Mexican Day, and Sunday, Sports Day. And then over here, you got the schedule. The mini club, I think those are little kids. Let's see here. I think those are like babies, but the mini club there. Yeah, mini club is from 4 to 12 years old. So just check with the resorts. They will give you all the, the uh, details. But, you know, there's some kids in there. I'm not going to get a shot of that because I'm, I'm not going to. I mean, they're privacy. But, you know, here's a little play area right here where the kids can play. So let's walk over here. Now, right at this moment, the volleyball court is no one's there. But here's one of the people from People of Palladium. They're playing bingo right there. So the People of Palladium are doing a great job as always. And as you know, I am, I'm not even an honorary member of People of Palladium. I am an official member of People of Palladium, awarded to me, bestowed on me by the, the, the top guy. So any resort I go to, I'm officially a member of the People of Palladium and I can pretty much do whatever I want. I can dance, I can sing, hey, it's just, so anyway, there's people there, and again, I really want to respect people's privacy, so I'm just getting quick shots. Now let's take a walk down here. Okay, now another big question, what about the seaweed? What about the seaweed? What about the seaweed? And I can understand why that is a concern, but I can tell you, what is this, March something, March 21st? And there's a little bit, but they do a very good job of keeping it clean. So. How you doing? Now, this is one of my favorite areas down here. And I've been here several times. So I'm going from Colonial to Kentonaw. Kentonaw. And probably walk in the harder. How you guys doing? You having fun? Good. Where are y'all from? Oh, you're from here? Oh, cool. Chicago. No, I'm just even. <laughs> They're from Chicago. Nah. <laughs> All right, let's go up here because it's going to be easier for me to walk. Now, up here on the left, you'll see, ah, it's just so cool being back here. Oh, my gosh. It is just so cool. So, yeah. Now, listen, it's Sunday. I understand they're at around 40% occupancy. And everybody's been so nice, I'll tell you. So, this is an area I really like down here. Now, granted, you know that I hang out at the Travel Club area because you got the refrigerator. And the refrigerator is the area, ice cold air, you got bathrooms, and you got palapas, and it's a real nice place to be if you're a travel club. I really wish I could be here like for two weeks, but I'm only here for a couple days. I gotta run up to Costa Mujeres some reporting there and back to Jacksonville but now over here to my left is the signature residence and this is like the top dog area right here and uh, very nice I haven't been in there I've seen pictures of it but if you're looking for the perfect if you won the lottery and you want to bring your family I mean a uh, signature residence is the ticket swimming pool there and your steps from the beach now this area we'll see and you can even tell the staff hey uh, I want to have a party and they will uh, they will have some people come over and feed you and you can sing and dance and it's 
it's really cool. But again, it's all right. So again, this is a little bit of a walk, but I just had lunch, so I'm trying to walk a little bit off. And this is another travel club area down here. And I've been down here quite a bit. Actually, about a year ago when I was here, I fell asleep on one of these beds. Like a three hour nap. And unfortunately I was out of the sun, so I didn't get sunburned. Because Marty would have not been happy. But and I'm gonna get a shot here. I see you see people. And there's people in the water. So yes, there are people here, guys. And it's Sunday. That's one of my favorite areas down here. And this is exclusive for Travel Club. And they have bathrooms. They have a bar. This is where I met my friend Fernanda years ago. And I forget the gentleman's name who I met. But this is a Travel Club area here. or four-year-old running around. It is, the weather's absolutely perfect. I mean, July and August, woo, it's gonna be warm, but March, it's nice. I mean, but still, I've been here in July. It's nice in July too, I'll tell you that. All right, so this is the exclusive beach area for uh, TRS slash Travel Club. And, you know, some nice places where you can lay down and rest and enjoy you're just steps away here so let's come this way how are you hi let's see who's over here at the bar and i did a video from here a couple years ago two years ago and the wind just really messed up my video but now i have a more elaborate setup my iphone 11 pro max 256 So this is the bar right here. How you doing today? So this is the bar down by Kentonaw. You can come down here and get a drink. And then of course the restroom's right over here because I know that it's the number one question you're gonna get. Hey, what about restrooms? The restrooms, and this is where Fernanda used to work. So I got the restrooms right back here. No, I'm not going in there. I tell you, with cruising now, Virgin Voyages saying you got to be vaccinated before you can come on board. You have the cruise lines pivoting where now they're going to cruise out of Nassau. I'm surprised they didn't come up with that idea earlier. So they're going to cruise out of there. So they have to deal with CDC. I just don't know how many people are going to fly to Nassau to get on a cruise ship. And I hate saying this because I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but the first time there's a COVID case or something, I don't know. I just don't know. But let's take it one step at a time, right? All I can tell you is from Mexico and the DR, Dominican Republic, you do not have to get a COVID test prior to coming to the resorts. Before I flew out to Jamaica, 10 days prior, I had to get a COVID test, antigen. I got a COVID test and had to have that in my hand when I checked in. 
which I did, tested negative, and I was able to go to Jamaica. And then, of course, the Palladium Hotel Group, they uh, give free COVID tests at the resorts within three days of you flying out. And I actually asked some of the staff here, I said, do I need to get my COVID test here or up at Costa Mujeres? Because I'm going there on Tuesday and she goes, Costa Mujeres. So I'll remind them up there. And of course, they'll probably tell me. I'll get my COVID test and then get my results when I fly back on Wednesday. But there's a very good chance I'm not flying back Wednesday. Let's see what happens, I don't know. So you know this walk. And the number one question I get is, how's the beach? And I guess it's a white sand beach because they named one of the resorts White Sand. But I got a good friend, a very good friend. She always asks me, how's the beach? And it's like, I, I'm not a beach person in the first place. And I don't know the different kinds of sand, but it's nice. And actually my friend who asked me, how's the beach, has been to this beach, so she knows how it is. But I don't know when people, stop, please, it's not about me. It's about you guys. How are you? Hey, you got your top on? Okay, good. All right, don't be sitting up straight. All right, come on now, come on. Yeah, thank you. How y'all doing? Some of my favorite fans. That's Cookie, Candy, and Brandy. Thank you. That's your fake names. And um, isn't it beautiful here? Uh, hey, how's my hair? It looks good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Water is warm. Okay, I'm gonna bounce. Uh, Scott Lair, Scott Lair, 1961. Twitter, Scott Lair, 1961. On Instagram, thecruisegenius.com.